Where is it? One of them in here is the Death Star. Oh, there's Death Star. <laughs> yeah, so let's zoom to the Death nice. Star. I think this is right before it destroys Alderaan. Uh, so there's the Death Star, right? Welcome to another episode of Ask Alice Anything and in this episode we're going to talk about how to introduce GIS to our kids now that we have so much time on our hands and here today I have Adam Carno with us. Say hi. hi Hello. Adam. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. And Adam is a community evangelist for a GIS company and uh, I'm going to ask him because he has a lot of experience in GIS. I'm going to ask him a few tips on what kind of stuff to show kids or to get in kids interested in learning about GIS. So can Adam, just tell us um, how many years uh, you've been doing GIS? Uh, a long time. So oh, over okay. 25 years, probably. A lot of experience. Yeah. See the gray in the beard? Can yeah. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> And your kids are? Yeah, so very long time. And how long? I have two kids. My, they're 14 and 18. My son's 14 and my daughter's 18. And I'm, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina in the U.S. Okay, sounds good. And I live in Toronto, Ontario. And I have a two-year-old and a seven-year-old. So two-year-old, kind of forget about her for, for a moment. Maybe the seven-year-old, we can share some, uh, some things that we can show her. So please, Adam, uh, is there anything that, uh, do you have a few things you want to show us? Yeah, sure. Let me share my screen. Yeah. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is this is pretty cool. This is um, see this neat aerial photo. This is a Chrome extension built by um, a company, a GIS company in the UK. And you can, it's free called uh, Worldview. And you can install it in Chrome. And then every time you open a new tab, it's going to randomly find a really cool uh, image. Oh, and then cool. on the yeah, in the lower right it shows a globe with the dot on it of where you're at, and in the lower left it shows you where you are. So and, this is, and this is a free extension that anyone can. Yeah. Yep. And, and this is a free yep. extension anyone can. And then can if dot? you want to pan and zoom around, you can do that too. Oh, yep. Very cool. Yep. In Chrome, um, you can pan and zoom, so it just drops you someplace randomly in in the world, and so I think that makes life really interesting you go to open a new tab and all of a sudden you're transported somewhere cool in the world and you can discover the world randomly i hope i really like that one <laughs> yeah yeah right in the comfort of your own home <laughs> when you're under uh, quarantine or shelter in place yes orders. for have for god knows how long <laughs> right right um this one is a story maps gallery so story maps are really cool apps that anybody can make you don't have to write any code Yep. Uh, you can really learn how to do them in minutes. Okay. People make all kinds of really cool stories. There's um, just thousands of these. And you can come here. You can browse them by putting in a keyword. You can look by, by subjects. You can look by industry. You can get lost in here. There's just wonderful things for kids. There's ways to learn things, have fun, mm -hmm. et cetera. So, Check out the that. You'll, you're going to provide all these links, right? Absolutely. At the end of the uh, video, I'll be at the description below. Uh, I'm going to put all these links that we'll talk about um, in this video for sure. Okay, cool. Um, these are story maps, and these are called geography treasure hunts. And these are fun. These are little games. And there's uh, a bunch of different ones. Here's one for beaches, places and foods, mountains, cities, world heritage sites, a Halloween hunt, a holiday edition. Famous romances and can lyrical you, places. Can you click into one of them just uh, just so I can see the? Sure. So if we one, click yeah. on the beaches one, um, what it's going to do? It's going to test us. It's going to solve. Yep. The clue is to solve a series of questions. Okay. Each question will hint at a location somewhere in the world, and then to answer the question, um, you need to find the the place within the the pan zoom. So if we hit start, the girl from Ipanema. So I think that's Rio de Janeiro. Yes, it is a neighborhood in the southern part of Rio de Janeiro. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. And then you get points for each one. So I would hit next to go to the next question. Oh. Pilgrim has landed on this peninsula. So we would go to near Massachusetts. 
Right. This is a nice treasure hunt. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. So Cape Cod, and there you go. And so, you don't have to physically do it. You just do it on this website. You don't have to physically go yep. there and do it, right? No, it's just the built right in. It's the game's built right into the story map. Very cool. All right. On to the next one. This one is one of my favorites. Okay. This is a story map. And the, one I, the reason I like this one is it has sounds in it. Mm -hmm. um, let me make sure I have my, I'm sharing my computer sound. Um, this, so this is Sounds of the Wild West. And as you scroll down through the story map, Yes, I hear it. You hear the birds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is really beautiful photography of the U.S. and Canadian West, and really amazing. There you can hear. Oh yeah. It's really loud. There's some wolves. So yeah, nice. really great way to get the feeling that you're outdoors in the wilderness, which is really great when you're stuck in quarantine, right? Yeah, I like that. I really like that one. Here's one um, that's all about Mars. So okay. you've got a 3D globe of Mars, and then it takes you through the historic um, scientific observations that have been done on Mars, and it will take you end with today's high-resolution imagery, so you can explore the entire surface of Mars. It's really, really cool for those kids that are into space and planets and stuff. They can really get in here and mm -hmm. um, have some fun exploring Mars. Um, here's one that's really cool. This is... Uh, this is a story map, but it's done up like a comic book. Okay. Where the hero is Map Woman. Ah. And she's gonna use spatial data analysis to solve the crime and catch the bad person. And, and so what, if, just, what if my kid asked me, what's a spatial analysis? Or to teach her someone that don't know what that is. I think teach geography and maps to solve a problem. Hmm, that's that a might good be one. a good way to explain it. Yep, that's a simple yep. way. So that one's fun. Then we've got this story map that's all about uh, real world film locations used in the uh, Harry Potter movies. Yes. So you scroll down and it will take you through um, to a map and it's gonna show with lightning bolts all the locations um, where the different Harry Potter movies were filmed and you can scroll through the story and it will bring up each one and tell you about it. And so here's where Hogwarts Library really exists. Nice. Et this is really so fun. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, that should be fun. Yeah. Here's one, um, one of my personal favorites because I'm a big comic book guy and I'm collecting them since I was a kid. Yes. So this is a story map showing Marvel's superhero origins from around the world. And this one you scroll on the left and it'll take you to each one. So Ant-Man is from Miami area. It gives you the full background of, of Ant-Man, um, yeah. gives you a link about him. And then again, shows where he's from on the map. You go to Black Panther, and it'll zoom over to where Wakanda's supposed to be in Africa, et cetera. Very cool. so, I like the color that the, this person, whoever built this map, the, the base map colors that they use. Yeah, so they set the base map, uh, custom base map with some custom colors to make it pop like, mm -hmm. um, the, like the, the comic books. The comic book colors, yeah, yeah the primary yeah. colors. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that one's really fun for those mm. that are into comic books. Yeah. Um, here's one that's really cool. This is a 3D um, Star Wars galaxy. So this mm. one can take you, you can just, um, as you'd like, move through the Star Wars galaxy and any of the planets you'd like. There's Hoth and Bespin and Coruscant. Mm. And there's even, where is it? One of them in here is the Death Star. Oh, there's Death Star. <laughs> yeah, so let's zoom to the Death nice. Star. I think this is right before it destroys Alderaan. Uh, so there's the Death Star, right? Yes. So that one's really cool for the Star Wars fans. Yes, very cool. There's a company called Entertain Maps. Okay. Uh, they make story maps about all kinds of entertainment and pop culture. Uh, so there's one on the NHL Winter Classic, one on the poster art of the Rolling Stones, uh, there's one on punk music, mm -hmm. the Real Housewives, uh, the 24 Hours of Le Mans, Super Bowl cities, all kinds of really fun story maps to look through. This is really cool. This is a professor at the College of William and Mary who he uses, uh, he teaches GIS, but to make it interesting, he uses the story from The Lord of the Rings. 
Okay. So he's created data sets in GIS that model Middle Earth. Oh, and wow. Each of the student teams have to create, um, do some GIS analysis to figure out what's the least cost path to get to Mount Doom to destroy the ring. So what's oh, the easiest path cool. that they can take to avoid the bad guys and get there? And then <laughs> each of the teams, once they do their analysis with the data, they then have to make a story map where they present their findings and they use the cartography from the books. So it's just a really innovative way to teach GIS in a oh, new way. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, yeah. That's really a little wonderful. bit beyond my daughter's age group, but. Right, right. For yours, for sure. More for mine, yeah. Yeah, more for yours than for mine. This is but still cool to, to know that this kind of thing can exist. Yeah, wow. yeah. Did great, great work there. Um, then we've got some, uh, there's some free instructional resources available okay. to people out there. Yeah. Um, there's. There's activities for all different levels of kids from, I think, preschool all the way up through college. These are free um, le lessons. Yeah. Um, and you can go and browse through these yeah. and, and find whichever ones you'd like. Here's some of it for elementary kids. Yep. But these are numbered in order. So um, a digital globe, a comparison, some blogs. Not very stuff, um, yep. few inquiries. And then you used something like this with your daughter, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm going to share, this is on my shoulder. It's something really simple that our, like our company kind of created. It's just called discover your data. All you have to do is really um, uh, follow a PDF instruction step by step. I'll show you if you can um, I'll share sharing. my screen. Yeah. And uh, here. here. Can you see? So yep. basically, it's just a PDF, right? Um, and of course, I'll include the link for this PDF on our description as well. And so we just followed through. It was very simple because my daughter's only seven. So this mm -hmm. is you know, a little bit beyond her, um, her knowledge. I don't want to get too deep. All we did is find her school. And she told me, oh, yeah, that's my school. And then, and then she goes, how come my play yard wasn't there? I'm like, oh, let's put it in. So I draw up a little polygon. We colored it pink. And then uh, and then we, we just labeled it and named Save the Map. And, and that was it. And then we just added another piece of uh, data just to compare the population in that in her neighborhood, in that neighborhood where her school is. And so mm -hmm. let me just show you what, what it looks like at the end. It was a very simple map. But... Uh, there it is. So this is her school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is her little play yard. This is where she just plays a lot. Mm -hmm. And you can see the, the little imagery of uh, our neighborhood and, uh, and the population here. I just, I just brought in another layer um, of population. That's, so she's in the orange. This orange area is about, you know, the, from 50 to 90 years of age, I guess, in this area. Wow. In this area from 30, 38 to 48, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but that was it. Very this was cool. the very simple amount we did for her. And then, and then I you know, made her draw this with me, so. I think yeah. it's great. I mean, I think, you know, most schools, I don't know how your schools are in Canada, but ours in the US, the kids get very little geography. Um, yes. When I was a kid, we used to get a lot more geography. Yes. I think Everybody needs to learn how to think spatially and be familiar with maps and learn how to use them uh, and be spatially aware. I think it helps the brain a lot. So I think any way we can do that through these fun things is great. And you know, kids love digital stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, we'll I can't get her out of her iPad. So I'm like, you know what? Right. Then let's let, let me show you something that's really cool and then educational and then it's not just you know, cartoons and, and Garfield and, and Tom and Jerry, which is what she's loving right now. Right, uh, right. <laughs> but this is great. Um, is there anything else uh, that we want to include in our description besides all these links that we've shown? Uh, I, I think, you know, it's important, like I said, to get kids to think spatially, do it in a fun way, maybe so they don't think they're learning. Mm -hmm. um, I think actually getting them to do, make a map like you did mm -hmm. is really a great way to, to do it um, and start, so there's yeah. many opportunities to do that absolutely well thank Adam thank you so much Wait, for your before time. I go I, yes. I have someone that wants to say hi Daisy oh, yes. come here Daisy come here come here come here honey why don't you see my doggy oh I thought you're calling your son I'm like is that how you call your son come on up here come on up here come on up here oh here we just lose you how 
is he handling this whole quarantine at home? She's loving it actually because we're here all the time now. Oh, that's right. right. Because we the kids would be in school and I'd be at work and my wife would be gone a lot and so she was home alone. Now we're here all the time, twenty four seven. Feeling all the love. It. Oh, she yeah. must love yes. it. So, that's my coworker. Now that I'm working from home. Yeah. <laughs> and they all right, safe. you too. Stay safe and healthy. And thank you for showing me all these cool stuff. I can start, you know, showing my daughters, and I'm going to share with everybody as well. And uh, hopefully, you guys learn something from this episode. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you Thanks next time. Thanks for having me, Alice. Thanks, Adam. All bye. right, bye.